All right, folks, we're back at it again with another how to drive video. So welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is Will Motivation. Uh, this is actually my Dodge Challenger Hellcat Red Eye Widebody. It's got a super long name, uh, but it's a super beastly car. So we're going to start with an exterior walk around and uh, then we're going to get into how to operate this car. Um, starting with the most obvious thing, filling up the fuel tank right here. Thing that's different about this car is, first of all, there's no lock on the fuel tank, so you don't have to do anything on the inside of the car. When you're ready to fill it up at the gas station, just turn the car off, come back here, and open it up, and you guys know what to do after that, hopefully. You should have a license and know about that good stuff. All right, so other things to note on the exterior of the car, um... It's got super wide tires in the front and the back. Um, so you got to watch out for a curb in the vehicle when you're parking it. So be very careful of that. You got uh, the rear end. How do you open up the trunk in a Hellcat? Uh, this is a 2021 Dodge Challenger Hellcat wide body. There's a little button right here. That's how you open the trunk. And obviously you can use your key fob to um, double click on the trunk open icon right there and that will release the trunk uh, lock and then you just lift it up it's pretty heavy so it's not going to pop all the way up like an audi for example um you know what to do in the trunk um i got a little bit less space because i got some audio equipment in here but that is how you open the trunk from the outside if you ever get stuck in the trunk and somebody tries to kidnap you something like that just pull this when they're not looking and, and make your escape out the trunk all right so that's how you escape the trunk of a hellcat that's the functionality there now the other functionality you have on the exterior of this car is if your significant other wife girlfriend friend lady friend whatever um they start talking too much and you want to eject them you just put your hand right here and uh, to lock it, you push push it one time. To unlock it, you just put your finger underneath here and have the, the key close. Open the car and then snatch them out by the arm, pulling as hard and fast as you can. We'll demonstrate that later. Um, other things to note, front of the car. Of course, if you need to open up the trunk, I'll show you where to unlatch the trunk. I'm not the trunk, the hood, my bad. Um, if you need to open that, I'll show you it's on the inside of the car. thing you got to be careful of <clears throat> there is that front lip is pretty low, so it can hit stuff on the freeway. You know, got to be careful close to curbs, that kind of thing. A lot of people leave this little protecting strip. It comes from the factory. It's normally yellow. The person I bought this car from painted it black. But that's a little protector for the front end so that if it hits something or like a parking cement parking cinder or something like that that'll protect it um that's why you see those on hellcats all the time all right so let's get inside the inside let me show you guys how to pop the hood right here so this is your um emergency brake if you're on parking on a hill or an incline decline that kind of thing you press this all the way down and it'll lock and then uh have the car in park and then you're good to park it on a hill and then to let it go, you just push it again, uh, put pressure on it, and then it'll release and come back. This is how you open the hood right here. In case you guys want to see what 797 horsepower looks like, I might as well show you. Let's take a look. Where's the little latch? Okay, there's a little latch right here. Uh, Got to get the key out of my hand. Right there. So that's the little latch that I was looking for. And this is what 797 horsepower looks like, supercharged Hemi. Um, we'll do another review video on this car. This is showing you how to drive it. So just wanted to show you all how to open that up in case you need to get access to um, the engine. Now, if you're ever having battery problems, the battery is actually, I guess it's something good to go by, go, go you know, explain to you guys. The battery is actually in a trunk. Here's the battery. There's the battery right there. So you gotta lift this little trunk thing up. 
that's where your battery's at. All right, so if you gotta get a jump, connect something to the battery, it's in the trunk. Here you go, open the door up. Actually, it does have a remote start. Let's see if I can get it to work. What's going on with my remote start? There it goes. All right, you gotta hit lock, then hit the remote start twice, and that will start up your Hellcat. All right, so that's pretty straightforward. So we're done with the key. Put the key in my pocket here. Open it up. All right, so now, for any reason you need to get to the back seat, there's a little latch right here. Use that latch to get to the back seat. Also, there's another latch. If you need to get the seat down in the back, you pull on this little latch right here. See that? That's how, oh, that's how you get the seat down to get to the, the trunk area or fold both seats down in case you're transporting something. All right, now hopefully you're not transporting anything you shouldn't be transporting. I highly discourage that. But there you go, moving, adjusting your seat forward and back, your bolsters, and then a manual recline, seat memory seats. This is S for set, set the seat position, set it to one or two, or just hold it down when you get in the car to adjust it back to whatever you had it at. Lock and unlock on the doors, your windows right there, your mirror controls left, right, and then, uh, once you have it on the left or right, then you can control that. All right, now let's get in the car. All right, controlling your lights. This is how you open the trunk from the inside. Your, da your, your dome light, your dash light, automatic lighting. So if you use the um, remote start, the key start, when you get in, you gotta hit this button right here one time. And now your dash will activate. Go ahead and get in, close the door. Show you guys how to drive this. Okay, use your seatbelt, of course. Let me put my seatbelt on. All right, crucial things on the interior. That's your center console. This is your connections for your USB on inside the center console. Your cup holders, your um, gear select, your um, for your park, reverse, neutral, drive, or manual. I'll show you how to use that in a second. Now, but I will go over the steering wheel controls. Your paddle shifters, the left uh, is downshift. The right paddle shifter is upshift. You can use those at any time, as long as it's activated in your um, your control system. Uh, of course, you got your RPMs on the left, your um, heating and cool, your water temperature on the right there on the left of the console, miles per hour, mileage, your speedometer on the right gear select right there fuel gauge your um direction east north west and south temperature outside and we're ready to get this thing going now on the on the steering wheel you got your voice recognition for your voice commands like controlling the uh mmi system or whatever uh these buttons here are also to control the options on the screen and the settings on the screen. This is your cruise control on the right. On the back side of the steering wheel, where you see my hand, on these posts, there's an up down for the radio controls. And then on the right hand side, right behind the steering wheel, right here. Actually, it's right below the uh, paddle shifter. There's a volume control. All right, let me open the windows. It's getting hot in here. Probably her fault that it's getting hot in here get around me and start getting hot but anyway um we got your usb all right so here's how you control here's how you put the car and drive you already got the car on no this is obvious to most people that have driven old school cars but a lot of the new cars are different now so so there's some value here so it's in park right now push down this button right here that's reverse right there then your reverse camera will come up when you're in reverse then one more push the button down again you can go to neutral push it again and then you can go to drive you got your gear select right there manual mode hit it to the left and you can up and down shift 
when it's in that position or you can use your paddle shifters when it's in the manual position but you gotta you gotta control your your gear selection or you put it in auto mode and you're good to go now one of the biggest thing, things people ask is let me turn on the radio one of the biggest things people ask let me turn off the AC off all right one of the biggest things people ask is how do you turn on like the SRT full power you can double click this um, SRT button to go to your custom settings bam bam like that and there it is that's my custom settings 797 horses transmission mode all of that stuff but if you need to go into your SRT settings you hit it one time it'll take you into SRT settings like that and then you can put it in track mode easily you can put it in sport mode easily or you can put it in custom which is my setup right here I like I like the full power but I like everything else to be easy you know what I'm talking about all right so that's how you, so that, that's your settings now we're at 77 797 horsepower right now we're in drive got my foot on the brake of course in order to control this you got to have your foot on the brake all right all right so let's go ahead and drive I'm gonna back up so you guys can see all right there we go are right, you ready She's scared. If you have a passenger in here, make sure your passenger is not scared. There you go. I got the um, Alcantara steering wheel on this car, which is an upgrade, but I actually like the leather. So in the wintertime, I like the Alcantara because it's got heating, heated steering wheel. But in the summertime, I like the leather. Now, I just hit my blinker. So obviously, how do you control the blinker? Because if you're in a Lamborghini, you control it with your thumb right here. But the way you control it in this car, it's kind of like an old school setup. You use the blinker stalk right there. Down for left, up for right, pull it back for a flash. My neighbors are behind me wondering what's going on. There we go. There we go. Now, controlling this car, you just need a little bit of throttle. When you're first driving the car, you really want to make sure to have the traction control on and by default it will be on i'm gonna give you an example of what happens when you lose traction and how easy it is to lose traction but you have the traction control on i'm gonna hit it out this uh on this turn right here hold on <laughs> hold on there's a car coming and my neighbor's coming so let me slow down a little bit all right we're doing on the next turn but this car you gotta be careful because it'll break loose at any time. See what I'm saying? It, it got a little bit loose there, but I got the traction control on, so we won't lose too much traction. Oh, we got the boost. We got the boost gauge up right now, so you can change the what's on the screen. I got the speedometer right there on the screen. Put the you know whatever I want. I want to see the boost gauge in action. All right, so we're gonna hit around, hit, come around this corner, and I'm gonna hit it around this corner and watch uh, watch the traction control kick in. <laughs> yeah. Now, how to drive a Hellcat? I mean, these cars are, are, are designed to be old school muscle cars. You okay? You all right? All right, she's all right. These, these are designed to be old school muscle cars. Uh, 797 horsepower is nothing to play with if you're, especially if you're not used to it. I have traction control on, especially considering I'm one, I'm driving with one hand right now because I got the, you know, I got the camera in my hand. But if I was to turn traction control off, I mean, you could do an unlimited burnout until your tires uh, spin off when you're in this car. Um, but you got to be really careful because. Uh, that shift from first to second gear uh, or the downshift from second to first or third to second, you can lose uh, traction and you could potentially lose control of the car. So what I recommend is before you drive this car hard is you get used to it in a parking lot or something. Because one thing about this car has big tires on it and um, when those tires, they break loose, but when they get traction again, when they get traction again, they're going to catch and and whatever direction your car is pointed in, when they catch, it's gonna it's gonna shoot that that direction. So here, let's uh, we're gonna do a pull real quick here. I'm a I'm a uh, I'm a hit it. Watch what happens. 
with this is with traction control on. <laughs> so it it is still. <laughs> She's scared. Now nah, it'll still break loose um, even with the traction control on. Now I'm I've been driving this car for a while, so I'm kind of familiar with how it behaves and like what'll happen if I let off the throttle. What if, what'll happen if I hit the brake? How much will the car get loose with with the um, traction control on and, and with it off? So you want to get used to the car before you go hard driving it. You know what I'm saying? So. So that's my advice to you when you're driving a Hellcat. All right, so I'm gonna let her um, record a little bit. Oh my God. <laughs> you got your eyes closed. <laughs> you can't record if you got your eyes closed. Don't worry, don't worry, this car's good. One thing you wanna do when you drive a Hellcat is always, always, always keep your eye out for the cops. Because if the cops see you in a Hellcat, they're automatically gonna think you're speeding even if you're not. So you really wanna watch your speed, keep an eye out for the cops, and take it easy on the throttle. Because I'm gonna show you what happens. Right now I have the, the car in the traction and sport mode, which gives it a little bit more play. So I'm gonna show you what happens when you floor this car uh, in sport mode, you gotta be really, really careful. Actually, I'm gonna show you if I, I'm gonna see if we got a little space back here. I hate you. <laughs> Good puzzle. What happened? You don't like the Hellcat? Uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yes. <laughs> Hellcat is nice. <laughs> hey, if you got a passenger with you and you're in a Hellcat, you might want to get them a little life jacket. You know what I'm saying? So they feel a little bit more safe. Now, they do have these little side holes right here. So you can hold on to that if you get scared. I'm gonna show you guys how to operate the cruise control. You gotta have the car in automatic mode. You hit this little cruise control button right there. That turn that's sets it to being ready. And then you hit one of these set buttons right there, like the minus. Cruise control is set at 68 miles per hour. You can take your foot off the, the gas and uh, just be ready to brake. Now some of the um, Hellcats have the distance monitoring like the automatic adaptive cruise control, and uh, it'll break for you as well, but this car does not have that. All right. Look. All right, now, one thing people don't realize uh, driving a, at least a red-eye Hellcat is that the, um, that the suspension and the handling is actually better than you might think with a big, heavy, car that a lot of people call a boat the handling is actually pretty good it's pretty good it's way better than like a an old school car you know what i'm saying an old school muscle car the handling is actually decent so you can actually take some corners take some curves um relatively hard now it's not a porsche so don't think you're gonna drive like a like you're in a porsche but you can actually drive and um and handle it this car and keep up with other sports cars in a Hellcat Red Eye Wide Body Challenger. Yes. <laughs> that was a lost control reducing the power. <laughs> you like that? Yes. Shut up. All right, so a lot of people want to know how to do launch control in this car. First, you got to make sure that there's no other cars around. Let me turn my, uh, turn this on. All right, this is how you do launch control. 
Got to make sure the steering wheel is straight. Got to make sure those cars are around. Press this button right here. Launch. Launch. Press brake pedal and apply full throttle. Hold on, what happened? <laughs> oh my God. Here we go. decision leave traction control on or leave traction control off but you can you can change the settings if you look at the screen right here you know you can change these settings for launch control and like I said that, that'll be for another video and all the settings and RPM what, that you can launch at and all that kind of stuff but it's pretty easy you put the you hit the launch button on the console and uh, hold the foot down on the brake Mash the, the brake to the floor, then put your foot on the gas at the same time, and then let off the brake when you're ready to launch. Very similar to other cars, does the same thing. Problem is with a Hellcat, you're gonna lose traction when you when you run launch control. That's the only thing. So, and the other thing, make sure it ain't no traffic around when you do that. So I had to find a little spot to do it, and we were able to knock it out real quick. Ready? show you guys it is important like I got to show you guys like how to control the um, entertainment system and the, the settings for the car I'm gonna show it to you guys because part of driving this car is having having it set up right so if you look down here over here you got traction control on and off button you press it um, one time it goes into electronic stability track mode um, I'm sorry First time it goes into, let me see the camera real quick. First time it goes into, here look, let me show you guys. Traction control off, look. First time it goes into ESC sport mode, track mode, and then if you hold it all the way down for, um, for like, I don't know, eight seconds, you can turn it all the way off, watch this. Hold this button down, hold that down, watch what happens. All right, five seconds is what it takes. You hold that button down for five seconds, you're completely in traction control off. And that's just a traction control saying, let me go here real quick. All right, that's just a traction control. Now if I turn this on, let me make sure my music is paused so we don't get no copyright strikes. All right, my music is paused. Now, you wanna get your driving settings set up correctly, you hit um, SRT button one time, and it goes into SRT mode. You can go into track mode, you can go into sport mode, custom. I like custom because then you can control like the steering, the transmission field. Yeah, go back to custom. You can control the transmission field, the paddle shifters. Go back to custom. Traction control, suspension, and steering. I'll show you how to, how to change that when we go, um, when we stop. We're gonna stop here in a second, and I'll show you guys how to change that. All right, custom setup. Hit this button right here. 500 or 797. Your transmission, put it in sport. Paddle shifters on. Traction, track, sport, street. I'll, I'll keep it in street for now. Suspension. Softest setting for me, I like street, but you can put it in track or sport. And steering, soft, or, you know, softest, medium, and then hard steering. I like to keep it in street. So that's how I set my settings up when you put it in custom mode. If you put it in 
you know, sport mode, then everything goes to sport. You put it in track mode, everything goes to track. Well, let's keep it at custom. That's how you set that up. Notice that it said red key on there. Got to have a red key. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on how to drive a Hellcat red eye wide body. Um, now, I do lots of videos right here. Uh, this video did really good how to drive a Ferrari F8, but I got a spider coming. So, you guys stay tuned for that. We got more how to drive exotics, muscle cars, all that fun stuff. So, stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, please hit the thumbs up because that'll help the channel grow. And uh, you guys can be there and say, hey, I was with Will Motivation before he had a million views or a million subscribers. One or the other. Hey, I appreciate you guys. Love you guys. See you in the next video. It's the one and only Floyd Money Mayweather. I'm here to tell you guys to go to Will Motivation. The exotic cars is crazy. I've been watching this show for a little while now and it's growing. But we need everybody else to subscribe to Will Motivation and support Will. I'm supporting them. You do the same.